Today, we're going to Kern Valley, California with gusty mountain winds to go airplane camping, build a fire, and cook some steaks. Hey guys, Wolf of Corn here. Um, we're going airplane camping today, but uh, it's an overcast uh, lair here today at Whiteman, and I'm trying to get out IFR just to pop above the clouds and cancel. And uh, sometimes at Whiteman it's really tricky because of the uh, proximity to Burbank and Van Nuys, so sometimes there can be some long waits when you're IFR, which is kind of a drag. It's happening today, but I'm going to hold it, hold it here a little bit longer and uh, see if they'll release us. Grumman, 4 Echo Romeo, runway 30, clear for takeoff. like to go ahead and cancel. Grumman Forco Romeo, IFR cancellation received. You can resume on navigation. What requested altitude are you going to? Forco Romeo would like to climb to 6.5. Okay, so uh, we are leaving the LA area. Skies are clear. Uh, we are headed today to go camping, airplane camping at uh, Kern Valley. If you guys aren't familiar with Kern Valley, you should see my video for the top six airports in Southern California. Uh, a little spoiler alert here, Kern Valley, I ranked it as number one. And uh, precisely for the reason of the airplane camping there is awesome. But uh, we're going to be meeting uh, my friend Shane there. Uh, you might know him from some of my previous videos. We went to Oshkosh together. Uh, he's flying a Cessna Cardinal. Turn like traffic, white blue German, four miles to the south. Any uh, wind reports down there? Right out of the south, uh, one six gusting to two seven. Yeah, lovely. Being located in a narrow valley in the Sierra Nevada mountains, Kern Valley can get quite turbulent if the winds are blowing. Today was definitely one of those days. Go around was my expectation, with the landing being a bonus. This was definitely one of those times when I was just happy to be on the ground. And now for a quick little geography and history lesson. The Kern Valley Airport is located about 90 miles north of Los Angeles, just outside the town of Kernville. The Kern River flows from the high elevations of the Sierra over 100 miles into Lake Isabella. Before 1950, the original town of Kernville was located where the lake currently is and went by the name of Whiskey Flat. In the 40s, the government decided to build a dam and create Lake Isabella in order to benefit the water-hungry Central Valley of California. Whiskey Flat was relocated 10 miles north and renamed Kernville. During periods of extreme drought, like a modern-day Atlantis, the lake can recede and reveal remnants from the original town of Whiskey Flat. Okay, let's get back to the camping. Located just a stone's throw from the Kern River, all you gotta do is park your plane and pitch your tent. There are multiple shaded sites to choose from, and you're just a short walk from a nice, clean outdoor shower with epic mountain views.
and not long after, Shane survived the gusty arrival in the Cardinal, and it was time for me to ride into town to the brewery to pick up some lunch and some more beer. Good morning, everybody. Uh, slept like a baby last night in the tent back there. The weather was perfect. Um, already uh, had some coffee, uh, and I think I'm gonna walk down to the uh, cafe and get some breakfast. breakfast, I walked down to the Kern River one more time, and then it was time to pack up. The gusty conditions were a big improvement over the day before. That was an awesome trip. Uh, thanks for uh, coming along on my camping trip with me to Kernville. And hit the thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe if you haven't, of course. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Ooh.